Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question and perform a demo. How would you drop a identity property of a column in SQL Server table? So let's go to SSMS and take a look. Now I'm going to create a table. Let's create a table called create table DBO employee. And in this table we want to have a column called ID and that is integer type and we say identity. So what does that mean? When we say identity it will populate that value for ID whatever we provide here let's say I provide one so that's a starting value and then I have to provide the incremental value so that will be one as well I can make it two if I want so this then uh, it will be just having one three five and so on so you can uh, provide any initial value you want and then uh, you have to provide the incremental next part is uh, I'm going to create a column called name and that's a worker 10 that's very small data uh, length uh, and that I'm doing for purpose. I want to show you something and then we will move forward. So we create this table in the sales database. The table is ready. Now let's insert the values in this table. Insert into DBO employee. And what we want to do here when we say values we are not uh, specifying columns here I can specify column here there will be ID comma name but ID will be automatically populated so I don't have to provide the ID here and uh, I can provide the name if I want but if I don't it will still work so I can pass the value say Amir now let's run this one and see what we get so one row is inserted from a DBO employee now we can see that uh, it automatically populated if I run rerun uh, this uh, let's say I have another name I want to put uh, so I, if I will insert this one again it is going to insert the second row with the name uh, Amir and then SHAH and uh, the ID will be 2 so it is incrementing each time let's put another record this time I want to com put my complete name here so if you see here I have worker 10 now what I'm doing here I'm increasing the number of characters for the name so let's run this one and see what we get okay so it failed because it cannot insert this data in the name column because the length is uh, more than what we have defined let's remove this part and now if I will insert only Shehzad right now what I have I have two records ID 1 and 2 and if I will insert this one this can be inserted easily so let's insert it now what what's our expectation we were expecting to to the uh, to to ID to be 3 as we are starting with 1 and then incrementing 1 but what happened remember when we try to put a big record here that was not um, able to insert in the name column because of the length and truncation happen the identity was incremented so that's why it missed the number three now let's go to the actual goal what we have here we want to drop identity property of a table let's uh, take a look sometime if we want to find uh, all the columns on which uh, identities are enabled so how we will find it let's let me give you a quick um, hint so you go sys.columns and that's the table which will have a property called is identity enable or not so here we have in uh, wherever it is uh, 0 and 1 we can see that we are looking for only columns which has identity enable now if I will put one here I can see those uh, columns here and one of the column is this one ID and now we have the object so let me take a look I can do one thing I can say object underscore name comma and then I can provide object ID to this function and let's see if as table name and now I have a name that's a column name okay so let's run this one and see we can see employee table has uh, the identity column that's ID and uh, some other tables also have that one so you can use uh, sys.columns 
uh, table to find out on which columns uh, identity property is enabled next part is uh, disabling that one so how we can disable it right now we have a let me take this now we want to disable uh, the identity there is no uh, directly way like set a property and that will do the thing for us what we have to do we have to add a new column here and then populate these values in that column and then drop this column and come back and rename that newly added column to id so that's the way so what we need to do first of all add a new column and that should be data type same data type integer what we have for id so alter table dbo employee add test id let's say in this case i'm saying test id and it should be integer so now that is added second part is update the records in test id so we are going to say update dbo dot employee and then set test id is equal to id so this is going to update all the records so it updated three record next part is uh, drop uh, the column so we are going to drop uh, drop identity column so if we want to take a look here we, we we have the both columns ready so we have test id and id so i'm going to drop id now alter table dbo employee and then say drop column id so this is going to drop that column now what we have left we are left with two columns so we have name and test id so i want to rename the test id column to the id so let's do that we can use a sp rename and here what we need to provide we need to provide a dbo dot employee dot id that's the column we want to rename and then uh, we have to provide the new name so here we have test id actually that we want to rename and we want to rename this one to id and uh, here we have to tell it is column so this accepts uh, some parameters uh, and uh, this will rename the column name for us right now we have test id we are we want to rename to the test uh, id that's uh, that was actually at the initial where we started so let's run this one and now it is done let's run our query and see that so what we have uh, we have uh, the name uh, column and id column but now the identity property is uh, dropped uh, from uh, this id column we can go back and run our query to see if the identity is uh, dropped so right now we do not see any employee table and we do not see the id column on which identity is enabled so that's how you can go and drop uh, the identity uh, column and uh, from from a from a column and uh, the steps are you will be adding a new column updating that values to the new column and then uh, dropping the old column and renaming the newly added column to the required name uh, i will have this uh, uh, script uh, on sqla.blogspot.com and i will put the link in the description of this video thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in the next video